Hey, how y'all doing? I've been spending a lot of time experimenting with my raised beds. And the main reason for that, and not doing any videos on it, is because I didn't want to give y'all some bad information. So I've been trying pretty much every plant that you could grow in a bed like this to make sure it works. I found that just about anything I've planted in here grows very well. There are some positive points and some negative points I'd like to make about raised beds. The first and most obvious one is space is a premium. These two beds are four feet wide, each one being 16 feet long. Placed end to end gives me 32 feet. And that sounds like a whole lot, but it really isn't. Especially if you're going to plant a wide variety of stuff in there. Some things I wouldn't recommend growing because the space that they take and the return you get, it just doesn't, doesn't work out well. Uh, corn, I'm gonna plant my corn in a regular garden because it takes up a lot of room. And my luck, just about every year, we get some strong winds and it blows the corn over and it would be just a mess. Anything that makes a, a, a large vine, I wouldn't recommend. Plant that in the garden. The first thing I want to show you are the cauliflower plants. These things are doing just as good as if I'd have planted them out on a row in the garden. One thing I'm not too sure about is the spacing. Because all I did was sprinkle seeds on top of the ground, work the seeds in with a hoe, and watered. So I had a lot more plants than I needed. I thinned them out as best I could. I guess averaging a foot, maybe 14, 16 inches apart. Uh, hopefully, that's wide enough. Next to the cauliflower, I have cabbage. Now, they are really turning out nice. Like, I've got one that I'm going to be picking in the next couple of days. And that's this one right here. I've got another one that's uh, starting to make a real nice head also. Over here is a 4x4 four four section of leaf lettuce. I've planted it at three different times. So I have some that's, that I've been picking out of. I have some that's coming almost ready and I have some smaller ones here in the front. One thing I found out is a four by four section of leaf lettuce is way too much for us to eat. Just can't eat it all. I could probably reduce that to a two by four section and plant something else in the other two feet. Each bed that I have is divided into four sections, four by four. On this end of the bed, of the first bed, is some broccoli. Now, I just love broccoli and cauliflower. And each year I found that the cauliflower is about a month behind the broccoli. Even though the packages say you know, 65, 70 days, whatever, each year my broccoli is about a month later. So I planted this one a month later, hoping that both of them will come in at the same time. In my next bed, in the first section and some of the second section, I have carrots. In the last week or so, these things have really taken off. They're doing real well. 
in there, mixed in with the carrots, you'll probably see some tomato plants. Let's see if I can get a close up on that. There you go. Now, why would somebody plant a tomato plant, especially at this time of the year, this is November, in the carrots? Well, I didn't do that. This is what happened. If you allow the tomatoes to fall on the ground and don't take it out, if that son of a gun contains 10 seeds, 12 of them's gonna come up. And when you start hoeing and moving the soil around, moving the seeds around, they're gonna come up everywhere. Every time I come out here, I, I pull out at least a dozen plants. And they keep coming up. Here is the mustard green. It's a two by four section because the tomatoes on the other side. They'll be ready to go in about two, three weeks. I'll have me a mess of fresh mustard green. Here I have my candy onions. I just sprinkled them on top of the ground, the seeds, worked them in with the hoe, and watered. And I think just about every seed came up. Mixed in that is a little bit of winter grass, and again, more tomato plants. Along the edge are some Egyptian walking onions, or multiplying onions. Those were sent to me by Mary from Arkansas. I'll be cutting those for green onions. In fact, they're ready to cut now. I have a few ripe tomatoes, but a ton of green ones. Over here we have the favorite that I grew this year, which was Cherokee Purple. I did a side-by-side -side comparison, the Cherokee Purple and the Brandywine. And it was really, really hard to tell the difference in taste. I'm gonna stick with the Cherokee Purple, but the simple reason is they produce a whole lot more than the Brandywine. So remember what I said in the beginning, space is a premium. The brandy wine take up too much space for the output. Well, that's the update on the raised bed slash fall garden. But before we wrap it up, a garden isn't complete without one of these. Lashpah.